Hey y'all, it's Jessica here from Just Give Me Jesus, and I am still trying to finish the 15 days of creativity, but between baseball and end of school, um, I kind of got sidetracked and had a lot of other things going on. So today, I am working on the third week, um, the page for Shiny. So I'm just grabbing a piece of mixed media paper or watercolor. I'm really not sure what that was. Mixed media. I think this was mixed media paper um, out of my journal. And I'm going to add some shiny elements to it. I'm starting with cracked pistachio distressed paint. And I'm just spreading it on the page with that little spatula tool thingy. Um, I was looking forward to see if I could tell you what it's called. Let's see. It is a catalyst by Princeton. The Q4 Mini Catalyst. That little thing has been quite a handy dandy little tool. Now I'm adding spun sugar distress paint. And I'm just kind of spreading it around the page. Obviously, I'm not looking for perfection here. Just some paint smears to add some color to the background. I'm just wiping it off my little mat, trying to keep it off my desktop. I'm not always fantastic at that, but it works okay. So now I'm going to dry it with my Craft It heat tool. Or heat it craft tool whichever it is actually called <laughs> whatever whatever and I'm actually what am I adding here oh I'm adding speckled egg distress paint because well it's just really pretty and to add just a kind of a blue tint to the page so I'm just kind of spreading it all over. You'll notice that's very light colored. So it doesn't just cover all the other colors. You can still see them through it. Um, that's one thing about the Distress Paint. It kind of, to me, has it has a more watery texture. It's easier to get a transparency with. And that's actually a Jane Davenport brush that has a texture tool on the end of a mermaid's tail. So I'm just kind of scraping it around as the page dries. Um, adding a little bit of texture in that in that paint it really doesn't do a whole lot but it, it just adds a tiny little bit of texture you can kind of see it on the sides where it pulled the paint over I'm just going to dry that out I thought I had sped up all the drying parts but I must not have that's okay this is was a fun find mentioned by Melissa well it's my version of the fun find because the one that she had mentioned um, or a tool, I don't remember if it was a tool that she, supply that she used or a fun bun. But this is an iridescent medium by Liquitex. And it just makes it shiny. It's so pretty. It's got kind of an iridescent finish to it. It is going to be very difficult to see on camera. But it is so pretty. So I'm just spreading that over the top of all of my colors because you can still see the color through this, but it just makes it kind of sparkly and shiny. So I, y'all, I put water on my brush and I was all proud of myself and I came in here today because I actually made this video a few days ago and I left the brush in a baby wipe. I never rinsed it off. So I'm going to have to see if I can get that out not sure if I can or not we'll see this is dragonfly glaze in the violet blue green shift and it's just got a little bit of a more iridescent um, bluish tint to it so I just I literally dry brush this over a couple of areas just to add a little something extra Unless you're really, really looking, you're not going to see the difference between that and the iridescent medium. The dragonfly, gla gla blah, 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 blah. the dragonfly glaze has a little bit of a color to it. Not much, just a little bit. So 
So now I'm going to put a collage together. And of course, I'm inking the edges. This was a free printable sent out with the podcast for this week, for that week that I'm not actually our last podcast, podcast before <clears throat> from Pink Paper Peppermints. And I am now going to ink around the edges of the page to give it some definition. Victorian velvet. <clears throat> I just thought it would be pretty to have a little bit darker shade around the page. So I'm just going around the whole page and doing that. And our word for this week is light. So I want to add the word light to um, my collage. And that's some gold sparkly tool that's got kind of sparkle flakes in it. I really tried to add as much sparkle to this page as I could so that it's a happy page when I open my journal. And this was a little embellishment cluster that I had done some of Melissa's advice and just stuck bits and pieces that were in a little jar together and um, allowed that to be a little embellishment I had on my desk. And it's great because it's already done and I didn't have to do anything else to it. So I'm just gluing my collage down with the art glitter glue. Now I'm gonna glue my little gold tool down. with this little cute ephemera piece. It's kind of like um, a ledger, mini ledger paper on the top. Y'all excuse my dogs. Heidi, girl, you're fine. They're watching out the window and they want to go play ball with the boys. All right, and here I am adding the tool and the embellishment and gluing that down with the art glitter glue. Hey, Mama. Mama. Where's Mama? Why are you that? Where's Mama? And I'm also going to pull out this printable from the email. and cut out the word light. I thought that this would look really good right here. I'm sorry, y'all my boys are in the background asking about working out. <laughs> Mama, do I do All of it. All of it. And I'm inking around this with the Victorian velvet. And I'm just adding that to that journal page. I mean, to that um, little mini ledger page ephemera piece. Y'all, my children are so loud in the background. And of course, I have to add my river birch bark. Two boys and dogs in the house and all for summer. They are all wild. Gonna have to find a soundproof booth somewhere with that in walls. Oh. Alright, and I'm just decided to use some stickles in platinum. 
to outline the ephemera. And I started in the corners, but then decided to go back. Now my dogs are going nuts. Oh my word. So I'm just lining, outlining that word and the ephemera card because if we're talking about shiny, glitter is shiny. So I'm just trying to make a straight line. I'm terrible with straight lines. So I'm just going back around and filling in those places where I thought I was going to leave it and then decided, no, I'm not. And then I just did three little dots on that bottom piece because dots are awesome. And I usually do groups of three if I'm adding a little element of that nature. Now I think I like it. I've decided that that's, it looks finished. It kind of feels finished. And it, if you can kind of see how shiny it is here. I love that and how shiny. Thank y'all for watching.